In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a dual tone effect all on Affinity Photo on the iPad. This is a very fun technique. It's also very quick, and very easy to do. So let's get into it. This is a brilliant image that I got from Unsplash.com. There's a link in the description below. You can download it for free and follow along if you wish. Today we're making a duo tone technique and I think this image is really nice. It's really striking and I think this will work really well for this technique. So we're just going to go into our adjustment studio. We're not going to go too far down till we get to gradient map. And you can, you can nearly see it's already, already done the job for us almost. Although you click on it and it's not orange like this wee preview. It's, uh, it's all these mad colors. So we're going to go into gradient. We're going to click on this middle dot and I'm just going to delete it. Uh, cause then it would be a tritone. Does that sound right? Uh, feel free to comment in the comments below if that is correct or not. We're going to click on this blue dot and the blue is the highlights. So we're going to change the highlights to orange nearly straight away. That's done the job for us, you know. Uh, if we change the highlights to maybe that nice bright yellow and that's already sitting at orange. If we click this dot, we'll maybe make it a wee bit more orange. We can do other things like make it pink, which is it was actually quite cool. I wasn't going to make it pink, but just by playing around with this, look at that. That's actually really cool too. Oh, there's a few nice things here and I'm not sure what to do. My original idea was to make it this orange, but I am liking that pink. And I'm also liking this here blue. And that just, it turns the whole image on its head. That's what it's looking like with those colors. And if we go up to the layer studio, we can turn this on and off. Because of course, this is just an adjustment layer. If you want to know more about adjustment layers, I go quite in depth in another video. I'll link that at the end of this video about adjustment layers. And... It's really, really nice that if I double click into it again and then just go down to the gradient, we'll change this blue dot. And I quite like, there's something about the pink that's quite quirky, but I do like kind of orange, dark red. And if we do before and after, that's before, that's after. And that's the whole technique. This is a very short video and a very short tutorial, but it's something that just, it's really, it's, a, it's so simple. You, you see that it really took just seconds to make this technique. And it goes from a really nice, stunning image. And I just think that looks great. And you could put a bit of text here. I don't know what the text might say, but this would look great for maybe like a, a magazine spread where you've got the, the content on one side, this striking image with maybe the headline or something here. But uh, that is dual tone in... Affinity Photo on the iPad. It's so easy to use and it's such a nice technique. I'm really over the moon with that. The final thing you could do just to maybe make the image pop a wee bit or just to change the, the bright areas, the light areas. If we go to the Adjustment Studio and if we go down to Curves, we're now in the Curves Adjustment layer. So double tap on that again. We'll bring up this wee graph and if we, we can bring up the, the highlights of this image a wee bit and you can go mad with it. We don't want to go that mad. We'll bring it up just a wee bit. And then we can also bring down the darks. And just by doing that, it actually, it just changes up the photo even more. It's just making the, the light areas lighter and the darks darker. And that's it before and after. And it just makes it pop a wee bit more, but that's maybe not the look you want and maybe the look you want is that so both look quite nice it just depends on where you place this image and what style you're going for but duo tone effect it's a great effect to keep in your back pocket 
Uh, you don't use it all the time, but it can be really nice and really effective in, in different poster form formats or oh, a million other de design ideas. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. More importantly, hopefully you learned something. Please try it out for yourself. It's really fun, super easy and quick to do. Let me know in the comments below how you got on with your photos. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.